welcome to our small home. So I am gonna share with you our home of 950 square foot livable space as a family of five. So I did our tips and tricks in living in a small home video probably about a month ago and I asked if you wanted to see our home tour and so I'm putting it together. It is not a perfected home. I didn't pick up a bunch of things. The girls are out for the afternoon so I am filming it while they're out. I've got the little baby so we have a four-year-old, two-year-old, and a 11-week-old and so I just thought this would be an opportune time to film. It's not something that I felt needed to be perfect because I love seeing the real. I also like seeing the inspiration of how people organize their homes and they make it real in that way. But you know, there is something to be said about um, things done beautifully and well. And so I do like those curated videos and Instagram posts as well. But this is just a home of what it looks like for us and how we make it work as a family of five in a 950 square foot home. So come on and let's go ahead and take a peek into my whole entire living space. All right, so here you are in the front porch. It is, my hands again are touching the wall. This was an addition, I believe, from the rest of the home because there's a door right here and so it's just a little entry which I love decorating in and it's very echoey if I have the door closed. So this is a little entry and I'll just show a little footage of what it looks like because it's great to hang coats. I decorate with baskets, put a little chair here, put a basket here for um, umbrellas, scarves, anything like that that needs to be collected. Just pretty minimal in here because it's such a small space. Okay, so I am standing here looking out well, you're looking at our living area and the porch is right here and the piano swing. I just did like a whole um, view of what it looks like when you enter the home because you can see our living area. You can look right into our kitchen and then it is our, um, I call it the piano area because it's open. It's really technically probably a dining space, but we have our table in our kitchen, making it an eating kitchen. And I love having this space over here for when we have babies and have swings for the girls to be able to play over there as well. But anyways, also the project behind me on our built-ins, I'm putting up wallpaper and ran out. So I had to get more. So it's an unfinished wall, but I told you this is real and that's what I had done right now. So you're gonna see that as well. But let's show you some of the little storage spaces I have in this space to contain toys and what I do for that type of a thing. So I use baskets for lots of different things. This is our blanket storage and I just love having blankets out. This one's not even folded. So sometimes they get folded, sometimes they don't. Then in here, we have some DVDs. I just did a declutter of some of our DVDs and some of my decorative books. Some are here on the shelf. Like I said, this is not finished yet. I still need to put another shelf in and finish the little wallpaper here. So this is more decorative built in. And so it's not particularly a storage, but I just love having beauty in the home as well. Okay, so let's move over to a different side. All right, so first thing with this organization is our book basket. I shared this in some of my thrifted favorites is this basket. But books, these are big in our home. I read books to my kids every day, a couple times a day. So I want them accessible. So we have that here, it does have a lid, but why not leave it open so the kids get into it. Another trick, um, and this is just up to you, I have just these little Sterilite containers of like their magnet tiles and what's here? Some doctor stuff. So those just fit right underneath these chairs. So if they wanna play with them, they can pull them out. It's not always aesthetically pleasing because you can see the labels um, and see all the toys, but it is what it is when you live in a small space. They also have maybe one more under that chair and there is one under that couch. So they're just little containers that make it easy for them to pull out and put away. Now also in this chest, there is stuff in here that we don't access. This is one thing I need to declutter because it was my grandpa's old army trunk and it smells like mothballs and I have no idea what's even in it. So that might be a video on itself, opening this trunk to see 
what is even in there? Obviously, if we don't know, we probably don't even need it. All right, over here, we do have a little basket of our Bibles, some photo albums, because I like to keep up on those, and some books for reading at the time. So that is for my husband and I, and then the photo albums the girls like to look at. We like to show them to people who come over if they want to take a peek at what our lives were like several years ago. All right, you'll have to excuse the crickets chirping on the swing in the background, but such is life with having a baby. I have a piano here and I just have piano books right around the corner. I decluttered that in my last decluttering video as well. And that's all that's over there is piano books. And I am the church treasurer. So I do have just a binder that sits back there as well with the church treasurer stuff. And then in the bench is just a few more music things and sentimental awards and ribbons and things I got when I played piano and flute and sang. So we're gonna move right over to this side and how I have that. Okay, so this stand contains some um, of my women's group things. <laughs> and so my husband's the deacon, so we have things in there like that. Some other music items, essential oils are in the top drawer. And then to these picnic baskets here. So I love picnic baskets for little toys, things like that, that kids can pull out. These are more baby toys on this side. Um, little puzzles too as well. And then I do have, if it closes, sometimes it doesn't always close that way. Then I do have little larger puzzles for my toddler and four year old in here. So they can just remove this basket and pull out what they'd like. So I'm in our kitchen now and we have a pretty ample amount of cabinet space, storage space in here. So you don't always get to see the full view because our fridge is on that side and we also have some cupboards over there where I'll just, I'll show you all that pretty quickly as well. But I love all the counter space that we have. We did DIY our kitchen um, when we moved in. So a butcher block countertop we did ourselves and the farmhouse sink. It was a 60s kitchen, so it had um, gray bathroom tile on the counter in the backsplash, and then um, it was like a puke green color for cabinetries. Anyways, I just updated that simply by painting it ourselves. We, like I said, DIY'd it all ourselves, so I think I actually do have a kitchen makeover video, two of them, I believe, on the channel here from quite a while ago. But let me just show you how I have the kitchen kind of organized and stored here as well. We've been working on canning some peaches lately, so those are still resting for their 24 hours. But over here, it's not all fancy, like I said, our coffees and teas, and then extra water bottles and supplements up there, and I have a whole little box of essential oils. That is this cupboard. Here is our glass storage containers and some plastic ones here, extra jar lids. Um, this is all my pumping stuff and cheese graters and then you know those corner cupboards which is like um narnia closet when you can't get way back in there i don't have a whole lot back there just like a cake stand and some extra lids to these glass bowls all right over here we have our plates and bowls i do have some measuring cups here some extra bowls to mix things in and then some serving bowls up here oh one tip with these plates i like having this plate stand so i can access like our fancier plant plates which we eat on every day and then the kids have a couple smaller plates up here and our mason jars that are drinking glasses that's all this is okay left to right junk drawer it probably needs gone through again our tea towels our towels our cloth napkins dish cloths all my foils and rolling pin and like little baggies and then my girls have a drawer down here of their snack cups and closed cups that they can drink from and water bottles so pretty minimal in there then in here I made bigger pots and pans, some glass baking dishes, bread pans, and um, oh, like a cheesecake pan. Here are some more of my like baking utensils, 
things like that, egg beater, strainer, ice cream scoop, um, can opener, those type of things are right in here. Pretty simple, I like to be able to see everything, so I keep it pared down to what I actually know I will use. Then our silverware drawer. So our silverware, little baby silverware, like our corn holders right now because it's corn season. Our little clips, metal straws that we always use for a smoothie Sunday night. And my kids' is little cutting knives there. And that's about it. Oh, and our French press spoon. All right, we're gonna start over here. This is my spice cabinet and I like the streamlined look of these flip top jars. I've shared a spice jar or a spice cabinet makeover video with you before or like decluttering of that. This is more of the stove items like tongs, um, a pizza cutter, things of that nature, steak knives are in here, I guess. Um, up here are extra spices and extra seasonings. Those are really nice to have on hand. And then over here is just some extra pantry staples like pumpkin, my extra quinoa, rice, beans, things like that, some extra noodles. And I do have a pantry slash storage downstairs, so I do have all the surplus down there. It's an unfinished, smaller basement space. So I do have that down there. Um, this is more of our breakfast snack drawer. We don't eat cold cereal in this house, but we have like um, our honey and our nuts and our dried fruits, our little snack bars that we have, like Lara bars, RX bars, things like that in a container. There is an outlet back there, so I actually keep the toaster in there. So it is plugged in, these drawers pull out. So that is really handy. Um, so the toaster is there too, so I use that every single morning. And then my blender is over there. And then down on the bottom, we have my flowers and all my oils and some extra baking things and a canister of popcorn because we have that every Sunday night with our smoothies. Okay, so this door leads to our back porch where our laundry is at, and it's it's not finished either. So that's not even really a part of our 950 square foot. So that's back here. My little coffee station, Berkey, water filter area is right over here. And then this is just like some extra cabinetry stuff where I hold all my jars for our raw milk and like a protein powder and our rolled oats are there. Like just things I don't access all the time, but I still want at least weekly. Okay friends, so here is the hallway. You can see all the way down to the end where our linen closet is. This house actually seems to have quite a bit of storage space, more than you would guess for 950 square foot. So here I have all our cleaning supplies up top. This would be a good declutter video because I haven't really for a while. So I just keep things in little bins. And then down here, I keep our handheld vacuum. I do have a robot vacuum, some extra trash bags, um, another broom, little things like that. So that is this little cupboard here. I shouldn't say little. It's actually, like I said, pretty good size. Then here, I'll bring it over to see, but this is like Narnia closet as well. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to make this work. This is where I keep my kids' coloring and preschool type things in here with their crayons so that they can just pull this down. It gets a little heavy, or I can. Um, I keep our diaper bag here, my purse, and some camera equipment right here. I know, very random. And then some extra winter things and our like once a week pair of shoes that we have here for like church. Um, my husband's dress shoes that he only wears to weddings and funerals. So just a few extra pairs of shoes or hats that we have here. And then in here deep, it's really hard to show you because you are right against the wall already, are our board games. Okay, so like I said, this is like a Narnia closet. 
It is super deep. The board games, I can't even touch them here. So our board games are all right here. We played quite a bit more before we had kids, but we still have friends over. My husband and I will play games. The girls are starting to play different games as well. So those are easy for us to access and we like having them upstairs so that we can play them. Then I have extra winter stuff there up in the back too. So it is very deep. Like it extends over our stair well going down to our basement. So I'd say it's probably um, four foot deep by three foot wide. So a very nice storage. And there is a bottom drawer or bottom cupboard, but we had to cut out our storage there because the stairs going to our basement, it was a whole ordeal anyways. They weren't attached to the wall or to how they were supposed to be on the top landing. And so they actually were just freestanding, hung on by the carpet. So we had to make different stairs and cut this out. Otherwise it would hit our head every time we went downstairs. Anyways, so that is a faux cupboard down there. So hopefully this gives you like just a decent idea of what the storage is like here and how I have organized in here. So this is our refinished bathroom from about four months ago. I did a whole tour of the renovation process of that video probably two or three months ago. So. Um, I love it. It's beautiful and very simple and the storage is great in this vanity. That's all the storage we have in here and I'll just quickly show you the drawers and how I have that stored. Nothing fancy, but it works for us. Like I said, keeping it real, little potty chair here for our two year old who is doing great. Anyway, so here is our toothbrushes and we just keep the girls' in a basket like this. Ours in one like that. That's what's in there. Hair supplies. So we literally just keep the girls' hair stuff in here. Mine in a little container like that. And then like the combs along the side. This is my husband's stuff, a very minimal drawer. He's got a few items in here. That's it. And then my makeup, which I don't know why I put it on the bottom drawer, but I did. So this is all I have for makeup. This little container here. I do very minimal makeup. And then my um beef tallow for my skin that's what i use as my moisturizer and the thing of deodorant that is it for in there and then this bottom drawer gasoline coconut oil my minimal amount of fingernail polish and my curling iron which i truly hardly ever use a little extra electric razor my straightener i use that often and a blow dryer for guests because i don't blow dry my hair Right in here, I just have this little tote in here for extra shampoos, like not um, natural shampoos that I think some guests like using. An extra hand soap, extra wipe thing, extra lotion, and some feminine products. So that's what's there. Our kids' bath toys are in there. And then, little trick, I always keep a spray like just a counter spray, a natural counter spray, and a rag under here because I will wipe my counters down every night. So that's just a little trick. It's 30 seconds to wipe it down so that way it keeps it a little bit cleaner in here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this linen closet because I, again, did a decluttering video, a summer decluttering video, so that was about a couple months ago on this closet. But one tip is to have a basket for donations at the bottom. So this little basket fits right on the bottom shelf. And I put things in there that I no longer want or that I need to move downstairs to a different tote for like extra storage for um, when my girls, one girl has gotten too small, it'll be passed to the next one, such as thing like that. I love having it in a central location between the two bedrooms so that we can just put the clothes in there as needed. So I have like sheets here, extra toilet paper. Um, there is some extra like shea butter here. I have jewelry here, first aid, baby towel or washcloths, all of our extra towels, washcloths here. And I have extra for guests, sewing things. And I did use my label maker and this is so handy for my husband to help. My girls can't read yet. So to put things back and extra, um, flannel sheet up there and that is it and I keep the doors open all the time because these type of doors pinch so it's seen by whoever comes in our house 
All right, let's look at my girls' room and then our room and the house tour will be complete. All right, so I said I am keeping this real. My four-year-old is learning to make her bed, so she's doing a great job with that. And my toddler enjoys making her bed by throwing her blankets up on her toddler bed. But here is our dresser storage for the girls. We have a basket of pull-ups and potty training underwear up here that is easy access. Um, she's doing great, like I said, so it doesn't actually need access super often. Then, and here they share for their t-shirts and shorts on each side and then pajamas and socks, underwear, tights, things like that on this side. I have nothing under her bed and nothing under her bed. So I just like to keep it clean, streamlined, that way I can go under and just wipe it down real quick instead of having to pull gunk out. But let's show you just a little bit of the storage on this side and their closet. All right, for my children's storage, I closets are kind of tricky because they can look cluttered sometimes, but this is where they store their stuff. And when our third moves into this room, it'll get a little fuller as well. But since he's only 11 weeks old, he is still in a bassinet in our room. But I have like size up clothes up here. I have my two year old's dresses here. They have like their piggy banks here, some lotion. So things I don't really want them to always be playing with and touching are more up here. And then my four year old's dresses are here, a laundry basket. There's extra pull ups back over there. And then over here, there's just like these little totes. <laughs> this says baby toys. So literally little babies that are toys, play toys. And tucked under here, these totes are amazing. So there's three stacked up. This one has magnet doll stuff in it. Then they have their Duplo Legos and some colored blocks. And it looks like one fell out. So that's what we have here going on. They have one more little basket of um, like dress up clothes as well. So pretty simple there. And, oh, and a backpack for our oldest to take when we go to church for church things to color and stuff like that. So it's pretty simple. We do have extra blankets, I guess I should say, up here. And this is more baby toys for when our baby gets to be wanting to play with more baby type toys. So I do feel like this closet is a little tricky sometimes because like I said, there's two in here and you have different stages of playing and learning and I store those things in here as well. And so, that's where we're at with this closet. Okay, let's head to our bedroom. Okay, this is for sure keeping it real. I changed my little baby on our bed, just on a little changing pad. And I think my husband made the bed this morning. And so our dresser is where we have a lot of our storage at. My baby's clothes are in the dresser as well with ours, as well as some storage in the closet. Um, and then over in that nightstand, we just have like, <laughs> It's the weirdest place, but we have a couple extra notebooks in there and then some of our electronic boxes. Like, so for my husband's new watch he got for running, he has the store bo box over there. So just super weird, but that's where it's at. So yeah, just clothes in here and then the closet. I did a little video about that storage not that long ago, just in a video. Um, a day in the life video, but I will show you how we store our things over there. All right, so here we are friends This is my clothes my husband's clothes and some extra blankets and baby clothes So I have my hanging dresses over here. We have our little wicker storage basket. These are like my shorts and pajamas actually in here um, my husband's socks his athletic gear because he runs he's a runner so long pants um, shorts things of that nature his jeans and dress shorts are up here open space I love open space um, we do have an open space shelf in a few other places I just love that it just makes my heart happy to see open space then I have a little tote of sweaters and longer pants for cooler months and back here we have a little hanging thing for my husband's belts and these are winter long sleeves and then up top there's long socks for winter intimates we keep all our winter things in the house in our bedroom so i do rotate out when the seasons get cooler so like late september here in south dakota where we're at 
So right now, um, it's all just, I have one storage bin under my bed and some of the storage in here. Okay, so then down here we have my hanging shirts and tops. I am not a minimalist. So that's something I, if you've noticed in my home, it's not, I'm not, I'm definitely not a minimalist because I feel like minimalists have extra space in their cabinets and clothes more than I do per se. And I have more than like five shirts and five bottoms. So that's just where I'm at. I am simple living, not minimalist living. So maybe that's a goal at some point, but I think it's okay to have stuff as long as you're using it and it's practical and you're not just keeping it to keep it. So anyways, here's my shirts my husband's shirts and then his suits and things for weddings and funerals. So this little tote is for my baby's um, blankets and some size up clothes and sleep sacks. Then literally just a little container, nothing fancy, of burp rags. Then our hamper for our dirty clothes. I like keeping it in the closet. And then I have an extra box for my pump in the back and some extra diapers in the back. And I guess there is one more storage tote or little storage cube of some of my sweaters for the fall winter months. I will just quickly mention how we have our nursery side set up. So his cloth diapers are here. They are not always folded. So that's something I just grab the inserts and the outer parts, throw them together for him and call it good the bassinets here, then I have disposable diapers in this little basket, the cloth diapers go in here, and then the wipes are down there. So I just want to say as we backtrack through my home that I love our little home. It's so easy to clean, the costs are a lot more efficient, it's a space that I enjoy bringing people into. I try to keep it simple, not minimal. I try to just do the best that I can with what I have. I have a lot of secondhand pieces, and so that's where we're at in our home. 950 square foot for five people, and again, like I said, it is just a space that I love, and I think it's manageable. We have a beautiful outdoor space, a little deck, some yard space. That really helps because in the six months where it's nicer out where we live, we can be outside a lot more. But I just love our home, and I think that's something to be said for anybody. Just love your home, use it, and enjoy the space you're in, and you can definitely live on less space than you think you truly need. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my home and where I live, and just a pretty casual walkthrough of the space. So with that, I will talk with you guys in the next video and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day.